Hello, welcome to my channel Random Ethan and today let's talk about Why do men have nipples? Almost everyone has nipples, regardless of whether they're a man or a woman, transgender or cisgender, a person with large breasts or a flat chest. When it comes to nipples, the ones on women get all the press. Think nipple slips, controversial public breastfeeding, or hell, the infamous Janet Jackson's nipple gate, to name a few. But when it comes to male nipples, the same tune isn't sung. Sure, some media outlets have focused on male celebrities' nipples here and there, such as Adam Levine's 2019 performance at the Super Bowl or the nipple removal procedure Justin Bieber, Channing Tatum, and other celebrities allegedly underwent. But aside from the occasional headline here and there, male nipples remain an ignored topic, even though they're there. Nipples seem to make a lot more sense on people with the ability to breastfeed, right? Men can't nurse babies, so why do men have nipples in the first place? My friends, please like and subscribe to my channel Random Ethan, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Let's continue. Obviously the nipples we think of as female nipples are meant to serve a purpose. But what about male nipples? The answer is actually quite simple. Men have nipples because nipples develop in the womb before embryos become distinctly male or female. So by the time a Y chromosome dives in to distinguish a fetus as male, the nipples have already secured their place. Some people think of it this way. Everyone starts out as female in their early development in utero. From this understanding, a man's nipples would seem to be left over from when he was initially female. Male and female embryos follow the same blueprint during the first several weeks, which includes the development of nipples. However, at about six to seven weeks of gestation, a gene on the Y chromosome induces changes that lead to the development of the testes, the organ that makes and stores sperm and produces testosterone. After the testes are formed, the male fetus begins producing testosterone at about nine weeks of gestation, changing the genetic activity of cells in the genitals and brain. But by then, those nipples aren't going anywhere. Human development explains why males have nipples. But why do men keep this vestigial body part that does not serve an evolutionary purpose? If a trait isn't necessary to our survival, evolution eventually eliminates it. And if males aren't designed to breastfeed babies, then does that mean their nipples aren't necessary? Well, this isn't entirely accurate. The truth is, we have plenty of non-essential traits, like wisdom teeth, that are just left over from our development as a species. Such traits are called vestigial, meaning we still have them because they're not a priority for evolution to select against. It's not like male nipples are hurting anyone, so it's no big deal for evolution to simply leave them be. For starters, having nipples isn't detrimental for males. There's no real metabolic cost to having nipples. Furthermore, just because men don't need nipples, it's not exactly an evolutionary priority to get rid of them. The fact is that humans carry a lot of evolutionary baggage around with us. Natural selection is not hovering there all of the time to get rid of things humans absolutely don't need. Describing male nipples as left over from fetal development makes them sound pretty useless, doesn't it? But there's another layer to this. Even though they're not used for breastfeeding, male nipples are actually more useful than you might think. Actually, male nipples still serve a purpose as an erogenous zone. Just like female nipples, they're sensitive to touch and can come in handy for erotic stimulation. We call that nipple orgasms. One study found that nipple stimulation enhanced sexual arousal in 52% of men. More surprising fact is that while it's true that male nipples aren't ordinarily used for breastfeeding, lactation is possible. For transgender men, possible steps for physical transition can include surgery, taking hormones, or nothing at all. So, depending on the physical and hormonal changes that have taken place, 
lactation can happen just like it does for cisgender women. But even cisgender men can lactate if a particular hormone, called prolactin, takes effect. It's a condition known as male galacteria. It's usually the result of medication, malnutrition and a health condition like an overactive thyroid. Males can develop breast cancer, though it's rare. It accounts for less than 1% of all breast cancer cases. This can happen at any age, but just like women, men are more likely to develop breast cancer as they get older. However, most men aren't getting regular mammograms or reminders to check for lumps in the shower, like women often do. This means they're also more likely to miss the signs of breast cancer. If you're a man, look out for symptoms like a lump in one breast, discharge or redness around the nipple, discharge from the nipple, swollen lymph nodes under your arm. If you begin experiencing these or other unusual symptoms, see a doctor or other health care provider. We tend to think of breasts as a woman's trait, so you may be surprised to know boobs are actually gender neutral. The only difference between the breasts we think of as male and female is the amount of breast tissue. Typically, the hormones that kick in during puberty cause girls' breasts to grow, while boys' breasts stay flat. Not every cisgender man will end up with flat breasts. For some, a condition called gynecomastia can lead to the development of larger male breasts. It's usually the result of a hormone imbalance, such as low testosterone levels. These are all more common in female breasts, but they're not unheard of among males. At the end of the day, there are a whole lot of parallels between the nipples we think of as male and female. They start out the same in the womb and remain similar until puberty. Even after puberty creates a difference in breast sizing, breast tissue still exists in everyone, boys and girls included. Sure, if you asked social networking sites, they'd tell you that female nipples are more explicit than male ones. But somebody should tell them to check out what science has to say, because when you get down to the details, that distinction makes little sense. The bottom line as it turns out, male nipples are more than just there. They serve a function, they can develop health conditions, and, apparently, they're the only option for proudly representing nipples on the internet without being censored. So, take care of those nipples, guys and other folks assigned male at birth. They're not as pointless as they may seem. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want more, make sure to subscribe to Random Ethan and hit the bell. See you next time. Bye.